living in Live Oak, Texas might be exactly what you're looking for in one of San Antonio's most established suburban communities. So if you like what I have to say here in this video, uh, be sure to reach out. If you're watching this channel for the first time, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification for new videos posted. After the video, if I still haven't answered your questions about living in Live Oak, Texas, uh, feel free to ask in the comment section or contact me directly. If you live in Live Oak, Texas and I miss something you think is important, let other viewers know about it. Uh, I love getting to know new information and know the viewers also appreciate it. And I thoroughly enjoy helping home buyers relocate to my suburban areas here like Live Oak, Texas uh, in the Northeast San Antonio area and I can't wait to hear from you. I can be reached at 210-260-6617 or you can uh, reach me on my website at maverickhomesandneighborhoods.com and I can't wait to show you around so let's check it out. Covering just above Live Oak, Texas. We'll zoom out real quick here so you can get your bearings on where we're at. Um, this is North San Antonio. This is Northeast San Antonio. Um, and uh, this is I-35. This is one of the main thoroughfares uh, that you're going to find uh, getting you from uh, San Antonio to Austin, uh, New Braunfels, San Marcos. Um, so if you have any business up uh, in this area where you have to commute, uh, Live Oak, Texas is a great option uh, just from the standpoint of a commute uh, away from San Antonio. That way, if you have other family in San Antonio, but you're not quite wanting to live in San Antonio, um, there you have it. That's a great option. Um, to the north, um, for all of you lake-loving uh, folks that uh, want to go to the lake, um, Canyon Lake is available there. It's about a 40-minute drive from uh, Live Oak, Texas. Uh, you have fishing, you have boating, you have uh, camping, all of the above. I'll share some photos here for you. And now, um, looking down uh, closer to Live Oak, Texas, we have, uh, again, 35 goes right through Live Oak, Texas, 1604 if you need to get around San Antonio. Um, you know, you have some shopping here to the north of uh, 1604 uh, to enjoy. You have more shopping out here at the Rim Shopping Center uh, if you need to get to uh, any, any of that here. Um, the the medical center is out here. The uh, you, know, you have a huge medical center here in San Antonio uh, to get to. So 1604, 35, 410, Loop 410, all main thoroughfares not too far from uh, Live Oak, Texas. Uh, and so you're able to get to a lot of different places uh, throughout San Antonio from Live Oak, Texas. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at about five square miles uh, for Live Oak, Texas. Live Oak, Texas has uh, just over 15,000, actually closing in on about 16,000 uh, residents, which is um, about maxed out uh, according to their uh, community plan. Uh, that's They're about maxed out as far as um, um, residents go. Um, there is a little bit of building happening down here in the Woodcrest area, um, but um, I can't imagine that's going to move the needle much more. Um, they have two large neighborhoods, uh, two main neighborhoods, uh, Woodcrest here and uh, Live Oak Village here. Live Oak Village is much older homes. Um, they are uh, mostly single story homes. Uh, I can't remember seeing uh, any two stories in the neighborhood, but they're all single story homes. Um, you know, so if you're looking for something that is um, maybe a little bit smaller in square footage um, and single story, definitely a good place to look. Um, Woodcrest uh, has more of the two story plans uh, for larger uh, households. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, this is going to be most likely the area you're going to look. Um, there's one more neighborhood up here um not too big uh, it's about um 
I mean, this is Bridal Wood Park, I believe. And um, it is it was built in about 2000, early 2000s to late 2000s, 2000 to 2011. All right, so uh, our main commercial drag is going to be uh, here, uh, retail, commercial, um, on this side of uh, Live Oak, Texas. We do have some more here, plus the hospital uh, in Live Oak, Texas. Um, all your, all your, mo a lot of your uh, shops are going to be located in this area. There is one um, industrial area up here in Live Oak, Texas, but most of it is business uh, oriented in Live Oak, Texas. Uh, you know, some commercial, but uh, mostly business um, um, income for the city of Live Oak. Um, and they like to keep it like, they like to keep it like that. Um, you know, two of the things that really um, stand out to me in Live Oak, Texas, other parks, you know, Woodcrest neighborhood has a great park, uh, Woodcrest Park. I'll share some photos on it. And then moving over to um, Live Oak Village, uh, another main park um, that has a big draw. I have a ton of photos to share with you on that is Live Oak Main City Park. Very popular park. Uh, you have you know fishing lake there. Uh, you have a kid pond uh, that is also. And these are stocked um, ponds as well. They they do get stocked periodically by Texas Parks and Wildlife. Getting in closer to uh, Live Oak, we have uh, you know the start of a, a disc golf uh, golf course, a very popular disc golf golf course, 18 holes, and uh, Live Oak Community Clubhouse and Live Oak Swimming Pool. So a lot of uh, nature, a lot of uh, park uh, area in Live Oak, Texas. Um, you know, a lot to offer as far as, um, you know, things to do and, um, you know, keeping, keeping in your kind of, you kind of got a little bubble here, you know, if you will, live the live oak bubble, you can pretty much get everything done you need, uh, here in live oak. Um, coming in closer here to the north, we have, uh, we have the movie theater, uh, in this area here, live oak, uh, regal live oak, uh, movie theater. Um, this is um, the Forum Shopping Center. I have some photos to share with you there. Um, the Forum Shopping Center has a lot to offer. Uh, as you can see, uh, Total Wine and More, TJ Maxx, uh, Ross, Target, Home Depot, uh, Best Buy, um, uh, Outback Steakhouse, IHOP. I mean, so a lot of shopping experiences there in uh, Live Oak. Um, you know, as it is, Burger Boy down here.
most of the apartments are in this area and uh, we have some more in this area as well. Um, so not a whole lot of apartments uh, really in Live Oak, but uh, just enough uh, to help with uh, some higher density uh, living needs. Uh, the newest development uh, in Live Oak, Texas is uh, Live Oak Town Center Shopping Mall. And this is huge. It also has a, a Ikea furniture store you can see from the highway. Uh, I've got a Twin Peaks, Black Rifle Coffee, Olive Garden. Um, we have also a Longhorn Steakhouse, BJ's Restaurant and Brew House. So there's more stuff getting uh, put in here as we speak. Uh, much newer um, uh, development there. So more commercial aspects of uh, Live Oak coming into fruition here. Um, this is a big development that's going to attract a lot more people into Live, o Live Oak and um, as far as uh, commerce goes uh, on a daily. So, you know, you have you know, Antonio area here. And so they're getting all that, they're going to get all that uh, traffic there into their uh, shopping experience there in Live Oak, Texas. Okay, so, um, you know, further, looking a little further uh, down the road here, you know, outside of Live Oak, we have HEB. This is a main shopping uh, center for anyone looking, you know, to get, you know, that's HEB groceries. It's a main chain here in San Antonio or South Texas, rather. Uh, so you'll get to know HEB um, quite well, um, you know, if you're looking for um, a place to shop for groceries. Uh, you also have, there's a Walmart uh uh, neighborhood center down here. Uh, of course, you have Sam's Club here and Costco Wholesale over here. As you can see, living in Live Oak, Texas has many advantages for those of you looking for that suburban lifestyle just outside of San Antonio. You remain conveniently located to those other suburban cities just down the road and a short commute away from um, from larger cities um, so feel free to let me know what your thoughts are on this area if you plan on making a move here in the future I love getting those calls anytime you can jump on my email list uh, on my blog at maverickhomesandneighborhoods.com I send out one email per week on the local housing market and things to do around the San Antonio area uh, one time per month and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.